there are not 100 most common problems uh, in homes, houses, apartments, condos. Well, in that video, uh, we actually discovered a leak here. <laughs> and I thought I had fixed it. And when I reviewed the video, it was very, very clear that I still had a leak, even though I was like, hey, is it going to leak? No! And it was leaking. So um, I don't have any puddle down on the floor. So the leak is, is small, but it was right here. I'm going to turn the water on and we'll see if it shows up. Watch it not show up today. That would just be so funny. So I'll do the pressure test, give it some water, and then we'll drop it. <laughs> and, oh, there it is. It's so minor. On this, I can probably just, just tighten it. But if it's stubborn and it doesn't want to go away, what I can do is loosen it and just wrap some Teflon tape around it. It's still actually dripping just a little bit. Oh, let's get another, another turn. And I'll dry it off. And I'll test it again. It still operates easily and that's good. So now let me do the pressure test again. <laughs> oh, you guys got a good laugh out of that on that video. It's pretty funny. Is it gonna leak? No! Oh, it's leaking like a sieve, just dropping water. Alright, here we go. Here comes our test. And I was kind of showing you guys how to do the fuel test, you know, where you, you put your finger in there. But this one, I can't get that much room. I still have the tiniest, tiniest little bit. So I think it's just going to seal off like that. And we're going to be fine. Here's plugging it. And dry it off real good. And go ahead and do the pressure test again. And it's funny, you know, you really got to test all the points anywhere where there's a connection and prove it out, make sure there's no leak. <laughs> but it was kind of nice that this showed up on film, so I was able to get it and not have a situation where somebody's stuff got wet. So, you yeah. know. Let's take a look at it from the other side. Here it goes. Yep, we're dry now. So that's good. What you gonna do? Oh, there's still, still the tiniest, tiniest little bit of water. So, I'll do the Teflon tape. Wrap it with a little Teflon tape. Two or three turns ought to do it. So just loosen it. Now that I tighten it on so tight. <laughs> Let's take a peek. And I don't need to take it out, I just go a few turns here. Around. As soon as I can get my Teflon tape here. Nothing too complicated here. There's just two or three turns. There we 
go. And now we just want to make sure we don't get it cross threaded. wants to get cross -threaded. Just knows the camera's rolling. Yeah. One of those things where it's just gonna be tricky on purpose. Oh my gosh. one I am just gonna get up under here. Make sure we're still controlling our Steel is kind of tapping on the top. I don't like that. I'm actually going to bend that out of the way because I don't want it to tap the continue continually uh, tap the top of the steel. This one doesn't like me, can you tell? Okay. At least now we're not going to cause a leak with that operating. Well, we can't all be easy. But there it is. All fixed. <laughs> anyway, worked it out. Thanks for watching. Kung Fu Maintenance. Over and out. <laughs>